Welcome to Zuby's Organic Kitchen, where I share plant-based recipes, tips, and the inspirations that we all need to take control of our health. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how I make my vegan a goosey stew. Keep watching. Hi guys, if you're new to this channel, please take the time to hit the subscribe button for me. Let's get cooking. So let's look at the ingredients that we're going to be using for this dish. My star ingredient in this dish is going to be the agusi. The agusi is uh, something that Africans use a lot. It's just like melon seeds. Actually, it's, called, it's also called melon seeds, but it's not the regular melon seeds. The regular melon seeds look a little bit uh, reddish. This one is a special melon seeds that we use i'll tell you all about it and all of its benefits okay so i'm going to blend that and add some palm oil to it palm oils also happen to have a lot of uh, some nutritional values to it it has tons of vitamin a the next item i'm going to be adding will be this weight loss spinach i did yesterday if you didn't see that video, I will be attaching it to this one. So you might have to watch that before you, you watch the one, uh, this video that I'm making right now. This also proves to you that a lot of the dishes are very versatile. You could use it for so many different things. And then once we're done, we're going to be eating this with plantains. Okay, I have, this is the green unripe plantain. And this is the yellow planted, which is very ripe. I will tell you all about that. All right, let's get it going. So I just poured my washed agusi in here. I'm going to pour some water in it. This is about eight ounces of agusi, and I'm going to pour some water in it, just enough so I can blend it. I believe my goosey is good. I try not to make it too watery because when you cook it, it's supposed to come out like scrambled eggs. So I'm going to turn it on over here. This is how it looks. I'm going to turn it on over here. Everything goes into this little pan. And then I'm going to add some palm oil to it believe about four tablespoon of palm oil should do uh, usually when uh, people cook it in Africa they add a lot of oil in it I try not to do too much grease while palm oil has some nutritional values to it is there are some people who are saying that a sort of not good for your cholesterol so it has its benefits and I guess some of the things that are not so good so you don't want it too much oil anyway all right so I'm going to pour my palm oil in here I think that should be good and then I'm going to keep it I'm going to put it on fire you don't want to have a too much a fire to it it's going to be cooking slowly and okay so this is my goosey when it it's done cooking it looks exactly like scrambled eggs so as you can see i'm boiling my plantains while i do that while it's cooking i'm going to go ahead and make and finish up my goosey stew so this is the spinach i made yesterday usually what happens is you prepare the goosey and then you prepare the spinach and then you put the two together but being that i did that yesterday i'm just going to use the spinach that i had in the fridge and i'm going to put it together with the agusi and bam that's my agusi stew this 
this is also a dish that a lot of Africans put uh, me, you name it, they put it in it. But this is my version of it. I don't like too many different ingredients. I try to keep it as simple as possible and as healthy as possible. You can definitely add meat to it or fish, whatever it is you want, you can add it to it. But I don't, I usually will bake. If my family needs meat added to that, I will bake some chicken or something on the side and they can have it with the meat. But I will go without the meat. So I'm going to add some water to it and add a little bit more seasoning to it. I'm going to be using the African seasoning. One of it is just fine. Okay? We call it the Maggie seasoning. Like I always say, these are recipes that you can tweak to your liking. If you want to add more pepper, add more pepper. You want to add more uh, salt to it, add it. But I will caution you against using too much sodium. So I'm going to leave it to cook for about 10, 15 minutes and then it will be ready to go. There you have it. My vegan agusi stew with boiled green plantains. <laughs>